This is Johnny Talks Toys, I'm Johnny, and today I got the LEGO Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles T-Rocket Sky Strike to review for you guys. This is 286 pieces, 6 to 12 is the recommended ages. You get 4 awesome minifigures, so let's go straight to it and look at all the awesome details on the set. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the Krang, and this is exactly the same as other um, Krangs that we get in the set. If you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know what the crane is. But if you don't, the crane is basically just a little alien controlling a robot. Now we're going to be taking a look at Mutated Dr. O'Neill. Um, he is April O'Neill's father. Um, he used to be a doctor, and then he got mutant dumped on him, and then he turned into a bat. But this minifigure did turn out great. I really like it. I mean, it looks amazing. That back looks awesome. And then this headpiece comes off. No back printing. Just like a little helmet piece that pops right on there. Very, very cool minifigure. I think it turned out great. And it does look really amazing. I really like it. Really like the wings. Just everything about the minifigure is cool. Here's a look at Donatello, and he really looks awesome. Really like that jacket he's wearing. Like the pilot jacket with the fur. Really looks cool. He's got some goggles on to protect his eyes because the T-Racket goes really fast. Side view, back, really looks awesome. Just a really, really cool minifigure to get in the set. And here's a look at Michelangelo, and he does look really cool. I really like him. Very, very cool minifigure. Really like all that torso printing and leg printing. Like a little orange jumpsuit, and it does look amazing. The new headpiece on him is very nice as well. Just an awesome minifigure, and I really like those nunchucks. -y. Here's a look at the T-Rocket, and it does look amazing here on the front. We have the roller coaster cart, and it does look really cool. Really like the windshield right here. Thought it turned out great. On the side, we have like gas tanks that they split and cut in half and used, and they do look really cool. Um, we'll look in there in a second. Here on the back, we have like international signs and stuff, um, traffic signs. We have like the avenue right there. We have like a like an intersection 80 sign, which really looks cool. On the back here, we get flames because the T rocket goes straight up in the air like a rocket off the railroads. Because I'll show you underneath in a second. We have like a street name sign right there. And then like a mileage sign right there. And it does look really cool. As you can see on the bottom, there is like railroad tight, um, railroad wheels on there. And how this works is it's in the lair. And then they go as fast as they can on the railroad. And then they open up a hatch and go straight up into the sky. And it really does look really cool in the show. Inside here, we have a lot of paneling, computer panel here. We have like a little mutated jar or something. We have a slice of pizza back there. We have a chair for Donnie to go in, which really looks cool. Right here, we have a place for Michelangelo or Raphael Leonardo. Just depends which one you want to put in there with another computer panel. And we get two fire flick missiles here and here. And that is really, really cool. I really thought that turned out great. And I really like the stickering detail on the T-Rocket. I think it really turned out great. And then back here, I gotta load the pizza in. You put your slice of pizza right in here, and you got like a pizza thrower action. All you do is um, like flick that little bar over here, or press it in, and it will shoot pizza out. Doesn't really work good, but is it is a nice little feature to get. And um, Michelangelo, which is on this little fly, flying contraption. All the turtles have these in the like the show. Um, they fly the T rocket out. And then it um, like runs out of gas or something, and then it falls down to the ground. And they all start flying around in these little wooden contractions that Domini built. You get one in the set, but they're not hard to build. You could build the turtle, other turtles some. Really cool. And you just set those in here, and then Donnie's weapon comes off. You set it like right in there. I really like this because the turtles can't sit in a chair with their shells. You take these, um, you sit them down, and then you set them in there like that and it really does work out great and all it is is the T rockets straight up in the air and then the turtles all jump out and start flying with these like wooden wings that Donnie made so this T rocket is very cool I really like it and I think it turned out great and here is a look at the crank ship and it is pretty cool I really like it we'll do like a 360 view of it fire flick missile there we got another fire flick missile over here and then these two legs you can add fire flick missiles if you want to and then I really like these silver pieces they used right here. It kind of looks like a UFO. Here on the top, we have seating for one crane robot. And we have like an alien panel right there to drive the ship. The ship does go invisible 
in the show, so that is pretty cool. We have a glow-in-the-dark stud there, a glow-in-the-dark stud there, and then two glow-in-the-dark studs there. And then we have two fire flick missiles, and this is a pretty cool feature. This is how Dr. O'Neill gets mutated. In the show, this is a lot bigger, so the turtles are fighting on it. They leave the bottom hatch open to get into it. And then mutagen, they're hauling mutagen in this, falls out right onto Dr. O'Neill. So it turns him into this creature, but all it is is just um, a little opening door. You put your two, like, neon yellow or lime green stud things in there. You close the bottom hatch, and they stay in there. So that is a pretty cool little feature, and this is a pretty cool little spaceship. So let's go straight to it and talk about how great the set is. All right, I really like the set. I think it turned out great. Um, the T-Rocket is just so cool. really like it. Very, very awesome. Really like the little roller coaster front, the little windshield. The fire back here, the sign decals were cool. Michelangelo in there is pretty cool. The T-Rocket is just amazing, and it looks awesome. The Invisible Crane ship, um, it is pretty cool, but, I mean, I was expecting it to be bigger because in the show it's bigger. The turtles can get in there and fight, like, six or seven crane droids in there. So I think it should have been a tad bigger, but overall, pretty cool design. Very heavy. It's brick heavy. So it is a very cool design, and this minifigure is just so cool, Dr. O'Neill mutated. That was one I was anticipating on getting, but I really like the set. I think it turned out great. Um, I don't. This comes out um, this summer. I got it early. Um, I really liked it. I think it turned out really cool. I really wanted to get the set when I saw the pictures come out on it at the toy fair and all that good stuff. So this was a set I really wanted to get my hands on. So leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of the set. And this has been Johnny Talks Toy Sanctuary watching, and I will see you guys on the next review.